Peter Beaton, welcome from Scotland over to Ireland. Tell us, how did you get on in your first loop in Carrick? It was all right, just sort of getting used to um, the gravel from there. It's been a bit, a bit of a learning curve, but it's going well. Well, it's been all right, apart from hitting a bail in the chicane of stage two, but it's all right. That's good. Well, tell us, how did you find uh, your times compared to the other GA1000 people out there today? Uh, not really seen the times, so I don't really know where we're sitting. So, uh, just going for a finish today, just uh, learn the gravel. So, that's good. So you're enjoying it, yes? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, the stages are in good condition. The car's a bit uh, stiff. It's not. It's quite bouncy, but uh, it's going good. So. Excellent. Well, look, you're very welcome, and we'll chat to you next time around. Thank you. Right, thank you. So, Aoife, welcome back in on the first service here. Only lady crew in the G1000. How did you get on out there? Good. The first stage, we had a good time. We were second fast there, so. It's uh, we've a bit of a problem with our gear, so hopefully we can get started in service now. That's good. Yeah. Have you had a look at the times yet to see how you're faring out there? Uh, I think second fast on the first stage, so we've dropped a bit of time there in the second one. But okay. You must be happy that with a good start out of the blocks. Yeah, the nerves are gone, so that's the best thing about it. Brilliant. Well, it was a long day. We look forward to talking to you later. Thank you. Thanks, Isha. Thank you. So our reigning champion coming in now to Carrick for the first event this year. Jason, tell us how you're getting on. Um, the first stage was kind of... Bushing off the dust, we're a bit in cautious, but uh, the second stage had a very good stage. Uh, they're nice stages, good and slippy. That's good. What's the conditions of them out there like? Um, there's some spots slippy, other spots there's good grip, but uh, yeah, they're a good stage. They're good stages. That's good. It's a wee while trying to find your feet because it's been a while since you were in the car. Yeah, um, I hadn't done anything really but sprints and that, but uh, yeah, it's good to get back in it again. Well, it's great to have you back. It's a long day, so we'll talk to you later on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen, welcome to the forest. This is new for you, I believe. It's very new to us, yeah. We're, we said we come for the cracks, see what was, everyone was talking about. That's good, that's good. How are you enjoying the first loop today, then? We're slow, but we're enjoying it. That's good. Enjoying as, it. as long as you're enjoying it, you're used to tarmac, so this is all new for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very new to us. Bit of a learning curve. Big learning curve. <laughs> well, look, as long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks a minute. Mind yourself. So, Anthony, first service into Carrick. How was that loop for you? Yeah, very good. Uh, we got through it anyway. Yeah. It's rough enough in places, but we did it. <laughs> the wee car didn't get lost out there anywhere? Oh, no, no, it's a bit underpowered, all right, though. <laughs> so, um, had you done this event last year? Uh, no. First time? In forestry. Oh, that's right, yes. I knew I'd seen you about before, but not in forestry. So, how are you enjoying the first attempt? Yeah, it's good crack. It's good crack. Yeah. Good. Well, look, at long day ahead, and we'll chat to you later on. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Welcome, Paul. First service in after that loop. Tell us how you got on. Um, yeah, I had a good run. Good run, times seem to be good, seem to be there with the top fellas, so happy enough. Fourth in class. Excellent. Yeah. And no big moments out there to let me know about? Yeah, a fair <laughs> share of them, all right. <laughs> uh, second stage, couldn't get a rhythm like, but hopefully now it's a bit hard on the back, so soften it. So. Okay. And then she'll feel a bit better, you'll have a bit more confidence. Hopefully. Okay. So, repeat these loop downs to you, we get in. Perfect. We'll see you next time. Hopefully. Thank you. Hopefully. Mike, great to have you back in the forest again. How was that first loop for you? Uh, found the first stage very, very slippy. Second stage, a lovely stage. Um, I haven't compared time to see how we're doing, but first stage was slippy. Maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. It's a while since we're at. I was about to say, you've had a couple of months of a, of a bit of a high, uh, rest. Yes. Um, no, I'm sure hopefully we get through it and get out in a month's time again. Excellent. Well, tell us, any big moments out there or any little, little slips? No, no, no. Uh, we weren't going hard enough to have any big moments. <laughs> Good steady eddies, that's what you need. Yeah. Took the first one handy anyway, so we'll see how it goes during the day. Good stuff. We'll talk to you next time. I'm sure you'll have lots of stories. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anthony, welcome to Carrick Forest. Is this your first time doing Carrick? First time, yeah. First time forestry, pretty much, yeah. Excellent. So you're a total newbie in all developments. New to the whole lot, yeah. I haven't been out in a good while, so... Excellent. So how did you find that first slip? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's slippy first stage. So just throw through it. Uh, second one, way better. Yeah. Loads of grip. Brilliant. You just got the confidence in the car? You got the confidence in the... There's way more power. Than I thought, so yeah. You find the extra horses in there somewhere? I found the extra horses on the second stage, yeah, but I couldn't use them on the first one. Well, look, next time round will be well scoped up. Oh, fun. Next time we'll take lots of time off our time. Yes, well, look, and look forward to hearing all the stories next time. You will indeed. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, Ida. Thank you. Michael, how did you get on in that last loop of stages there, that first one out after the start? Yeah, grand. Nice. Yeah, slippery. Nice. Good. Yeah. What about your times? How do you think you got on there? I think now we're here. That's good. Oh, you've got four corners, it's a good sign as well. Yeah, yeah, always a help, isn't it? Did you, did you not try to take a few of them off, like? Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're grand. <laughs> what about the surfaces? What's it like out there? It's grand, it's nice, slippery, it's good. Good. Yeah, 
exactly. Well, I'm sure you'll have lots to tell me the next time we chat you. Maybe. <laughs> Talk to that. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> so, Brian, into the first service, we have a wee problem, I hear. A uh, starter. Okay. Did it go on the way out the road, or was it just at stage two? Stage two. Stage two. Hopefully you have no spins around there. You've been obviously very cautious, trying not to stall or anything in there and lose time. Yeah, that's right. Good. Yeah. How did you find the stages? What were the surface like? A wee bit sloppy. Okay. Fighting hard to get the grip. That's it. Well, look at I'm sure you'll get the starter fixed and get out for a good blast in the second loop. You're right. Good man. Thank you. Get that thing away. <laughs> so, Kieran, first loop of stages over the day. How did you get on out there? Yeah, good. The first stage was rough enough, but we got through it all right. And second stage was nice. A few jumps and bumps near the end of it and flat out stuff. So it was grand. Excellent. So. Are you hitting sort of maximum attack starting off or are you being a bit cautious? Oh, definitely cautious. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I never drove stages down here before, so... Okay. So on my third time out too, so I was about to say you're you're fairly new to the forest end of things as well, so how are you enjoying it? Yeah, very good crack. Yeah, yeah. Savage. So. Have you anything to do to the car or is it just gonna be a quick check over re refuel night? I I hope a quick check in there. <laughs> so. Excellent, we'll look at best luck, we'll chat to you next time. Lovely, Thank thanks. You. So we have a complete novice Rory. Tell me all about your first day in the forest. It's slippy, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just savage crack. Uh, we're here, here. We'll hopefully get her home anyway. We had a couple of ropey moments, but we're here, so. Ropey moments? Do tell. Tell me more. Uh, it involved a shock, but that, that's all. There's no damage, I don't think so. But were you just dipping in and dipping out? Aye, I just see what the depth is like, you know, yourself. Uh. <laughs> Checking her for later when, when you're hanging the bumming. Yeah, we're gravel crew. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm only best. Nah, but uh, Jizz, we're having some days crack, eh? We're just laughing the whole way through it, so. We'll keep at it for the year anyway and see how we get on. Eh? Well, that's forestry for you. It's all laughs. That's it, eh? No bother. Thank Thanks very much. See you next time. No bother. So James, tell us about your first day out in the woods here. Ah, it's not too bad. We have a lot to learn today. It's the first day out in the car, so... Ah, school crack. It's, trying to, it's a bit of a handful there, but something it's different to what we're used to, but how we get the hang of it? Something new, for sure. What about setup? Do you think there's much changes there to make her feel a bit more sort of confident in it? Ah, no, it's on a basic setup there, just to kind of get going for today and see how things go, you know? Yeah. So, that's kind of it. So any moments out there or anything to tell me about? Ah, uh, nothing too major. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep her together for today anyway. <laughs> no gathering up sessions? No, hopefully not. <laughs> well, look, best luck, boys, and I'm sure you'll have more stories the next time round. No bother, thank you. See ya. So, Adrian, you're almost now a veteran of the woods at this stage. How did you enjoy that first loop out today in Carrick? Yeah, no, very good. Um, this is my fifth time doing this rally and I've only finished it once, which was five years ago and it was my first rally. So we want to get through today, so we were very cautious on the first loop. The first um, first stage, very, very slippy. Sharp, but very slippy. So we said we'd go out with manners on that and then we see the second stage a bit faster and we enjoyed that a bit more. So getting a bit of rhythm, but there's a lot of lads in the class today, a lot of lads signed up for 11F in the championship. So I wouldn't say we're sitting up too near the top, but we're having good old fun and sure. We'll go in now, it's a long day, like this is a long rally. It is, it definitely is a finisher's rally. I think it's time to be sort of sensible and play a bit of a calculated game to get through it. Uh, well, we're the right age for that, so yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> You're allegedly sensible. Yeah, well, we, yeah, well, Declan's very sensible there, and he has a pen, he can give me a few stabs of it, so. I often find a pencil much better, but that was well, my opinion. giving him ideas. <laughs> best, best luck, boys, we'll see you next time. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. So, Sean, how did you get on in that first loop here today in Carrick? First stage wasn't was good, it was nice, but the second one we spun her in oh and a hairpin, yeah. Oh. Came into it too fast. So. Right. Did you lose much time? Yeah, a few seconds of us. Nothing major? Nothing major, no. That's no. Good. Was that the only moment you have or was it all fairly plain sailing? I think that, yeah, that was about the only moment, yeah. Since you it was enough for one loop. Exactly. <laughs> for the well look at best luck lads and I'll get you in the next time round here, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cheers. cheers. Jenna, great to see you here in the woods. We did plague you for long enough and you finally give in to come to see us. Yeah, sure. I said I'd give it a, give it a go anyway, so we're, we're this far, so we'll keep going and see how we get on. So tell us, how did you get on in there? Tell us about the first loop of stages. Uh, well, it's tricky. Like, we didn't get any testing done now and gravel at all, so it's very new to me. This is the test? This is the test. Yeah. So, uh, but I've enjoyed it so far, you know. It's very different than the tarmac, obviously, but... It's more fun. Yeah. Yeah, lots of sideways and... <laughs> There's a lot more steering to it for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We had a close one there on the second stage, but... Tell me about it. Oh. <laughs> oh, and your, ma your dad and mum will not see it for long enough. You tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just at the start of the stage and all. Oh, bit... Bit too eager? Bit, yeah, yeah. But... No, 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 no. We, we held on to her, so... 
All right, so you were testing the width of the road with the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Well, look, and I hope you have plenty of more safe moments like that to tell me about next time. Right? Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. So, Carol, welcome to the woods in Carrick. Your first time down here. Tell me how you got on. Oh, the, ver the first stage was, oh, we didn't know what we were doing. Le left hand side of the car for the first time, yeah. all over the road. Second stage, we had a real, real good cut in the second stage, so we did. So, gears were, we're getting the gear in wrong, but we're, we'll figure it out. Oh, well, look, there's a long day ahead of you. I think it's one of those that you kind of have lots of time to learn. Yes. Uh, now, it'll probably take me about two or three rallies to get on this car. So hopefully, hopefully the day we keep her in the in between the ditches, yeah. keep get her home in one piece. Yeah, don't give Badger too much work. So obviously, left hand drive is, is something fairly new for you. It's your first time out, not? It? Oh, it's a lot, lot different. Yeah. It is a lot, lot different. Just the angle of your your front right corner yeah. in the corners, you just have to have it spot on. Yeah. So you do so. Big well, learning curve. Big learning curve. Well, look at you have her here in one bit, that's half the battle, and we look forward to seeing the next time the same. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, Emmett, welcome back to the forestry in Carrick. Tell me about that first loop. Uh, it went talk okay with a few problems. Like, we we stalled at the hairpin on, on the first stage, and uh, the second stage, we did intercom problem, just cutting in and cutting out, and okay. then, then we had a big, a big red deer out in front of us, so we just <laughs> <laughs> ran off down the road, so. Right, so the bit of wildlife adding to the whole excitement of it. Yeah, yeah, but sure that's it. So we're here now, and back out again for the same loop again. Well, you must have missed it because there's no marks in the front of us. No, 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 no. We didn't hit him at all. Oh, you're you're going to be slim pickings for lunch, then there's no deer. We might get him the next time. <laughs> Better luck next time. We'll see you next time, boy. Thank Thanks. You. All right. Well, Ian, tell us about that first loop of stages. How are you getting on? Uh, we're getting on not too bad. It, it's the first time driving left-hand drive, so we're we're tending to go over the right an awful lot, and then it's making the car uneven, but. It's just trying to get through them, get a bit of experience on it and see how it goes. It's a whole different, you have to sort of gear your brain completely different when you're under pressure of actually being in the rally and thinking quickly with your brain you're on the wrong side. Yeah, well that's it. It's uh, We've never had any left hand drive experience before this, so, and you know, it's, the car is a lot more power than what we had before, so it's trying to learn the two of them at once. So, well, we're getting there. Big learning curve, but no better man for it. No, well, I don't know. You need to ask Jerry that one. <laughs> <laughs> what about any moments in there, or was it all other than sort of getting your lines a bit wrong? No, no, no real major moments, just trying to tidy it up a bit and get a wee bit faster. Long day ahead of you, you have plenty of time to do it. We have. Best luck, boys. Thank Thanks, Ada. Cheers. So, Jody, welcome to the woods of Carrick. Tell us about your first sleep of stages. Not too bad, Ada. Um, we didn't get a test in the car, so literally threw in at the deep end. Um, but a lot of learning, and hopefully by the end of the day we can improve our pace. You know, but uh, Ox is mighty, mighty value. Good. So it is. So, looking forward to the next loop, try and learn this yoke a bit more. and hopefully gain a few seconds. Absolutely. <laughs> is there much to do in there? Do you think everything's fairly well set up for you? Happy enough at that end? Um, I don't really know because uh, it's first first time in her, so I probably need a bit more miles, you know, to figure out the suspension and clicks and all that there. But uh, the first, first one seemed grand, yeah, so just need to uh, be a bit more braver. <laughs> but you felt comfortable, like it all felt like it was working all right. She didn't feel like she was breaking away or anything like that? Oh, well, she's always breaking away now, but that's just us trying to push that wee bit harder. But no, we've a lot to learn. So looking forward to the rest of the year and hopefully catch them boys at the front. Well, we're looking. It's a long day. Let's get through that first. That's it. That's it. More miles. Exactly. Best luck. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Edith. Thanks, Jody. So, James, tell us about that first super of stages. How did you get on in Carrick? Uh, well, we're not really here to look at times, but I can honestly say I don't think I've enjoyed two stages like that my whole life. It was brilliant. It's our second year in this car here now, so it was uh, another new experience, but very, very enjoyable. I haven't had a lot of loose experience in this car in fairness. None, none. None, this, none. This 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 is the this is our test. <laughs> so it was it was good, very, very good. good. For everyone found the first one a little bit sort of slippy and loose, the second one they really enjoyed, was it the same for you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it, uh, going on what little experience I have that sort of ties in with the rest of them then that's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you're saying the same as everyone else, you're spot on. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> well look, it's a long day. I wish you all the luck and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you. See ya. So Jason, uh, first loop of stage is done in Carrick, tell us how you got on there. Um, the first stage out, we, we couldn't really find a rhythm and we were sort of a wee bit messy but it was slippy too. So the second stage we just approached it differently and got into a good rhythm and it felt good, yeah. Good, good, good. So everything felt good, car working well for you? Yeah, car's working well, just um, a lot more to come from, from me. So. Still a lot of learning. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You haven't got a lot of time in the car, you know, this is probably like 
fairly new for you? They haven't had enough experience or miles in the car at the minute. No, we done the bushwhacker at the end of last year, and we didn't really get any winter testing, so we're down here to learn the car. That's good. good test for you then, so. Yeah. Well, look, and I wish you all the luck, and we'll see you next time, right? All right, thank you, Ida. So, Jordan, first day out in the Opal Adam, how did you get on out there? Obviously, a lot different compared to the Evo, which compared to the four-wheel drive. Ah, uh, yeah, a lot of different driving styles. So, left-hand drive as well. So, it's ah, uh, we'll get there. What about any moments in there? Anything sort of uh, to tell us about? Ah, uh, well, lack of grip for a lot of no grip at all. So, struggling in that sort of sense, but a few moments everywhere. So, okay. well. so find it difficult to get grip. Then, do you think what are you going to do in here? Is there anything you can do to change or help things? Ah. Uh, I don't know either. A streaming's job. I, yeah. do, I just, I just drive. You're just gonna tell him what you want, what the deal is, and he'll sort it out. I just want him to work at work, so <laughs> no doubt he'll do it. Are you enjoying it as much as you would have in the evil? Um, no, not okay. as much, not yet, but we'll get there. Yeah. Well, it is the very first day out, and there's a lot to learn, and I don't doubt that the next time I'm talking, you'll have a smile on your face even wider. Yeah. Thanks very much. Wise, well, best luck. Thank you. All right. Marty, welcome to the Woods and Carrick. First loop over. Tell me how it went for you. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? We're still in one piece, that's the main thing. Good. It's been a good way now since being in the car, never mind on gravel, so it's a matter of getting in, kind of get back into the swing of things and see how we get on. Yeah, you're used to the big rigs during the week, so when you come back to a wee thing, it must be easier to throw around. Ah, uh, but you're trying to take big cuts there to get the trailer around, you forget <laughs> you don't have a trailer on, so that's not too bad now. We're, hopefully it goes alright now towards the end of the day. Well, tell us, any moments in there to tell us about or anything happened? Uh, not too bad there, we had a chicane written off at, um, give... Aye, uh, quarter panel, uh, just a wee push out, but sure, we grand. Is that just checking that Dean's awake? That's it, uh, just, it was his side leg, so just making sure. It's always, always pick the navigator side and never the driver side. I, I wouldn't do it to myself anyway, not a hope, no. So. <laughs> Other than that though, car working well, everything feeling good? Aye, 100% uh, just a matter of getting settled into it now and putting good times, see yes. how it goes. Well, look, a long day ahead of us and we'll see you the next time round, thank you. You're right, thank you. Cheers, boys, Cheers. Right. good lads. So John, tell us, first loop over you in Carrick, how'd you get on? Not too bad. Uh, I think we're fastest junior on the last stage. Our time isn't showing online yet, but I think we're leading. But it's only about two seconds or something like that. It's close there between a lot of us. So it is very slippy, but we're just getting used to it. It is only Padraig's second rally as well sitting in, so just settling in. Of course, new teams sort of learn each other how you're getting on and how each other works. Yeah, that's it. We did a sharp bit of a test, but we're still we're getting the hang of it now. What about the car? Car working well for you? No problems there? It is, um, we might change tyres inside and serve us now because I'm really struggling for grip inside the tight stuff. Yeah. Which is just spinning, so we might change tyres. Perfect. In fairness, everyone did say that there was an issue with sort of grip on the first stage. Second was a little bit better, but it sounds probably you're in the same boat. Yeah, I found it the opposite way. I thought the first one was better than the second one. I thought the second one was very bad, like, so. Well, look, it's a long day, so best luck, and I'll see you later on. Okay, perfect, thanks. Thank you. Right. Johnny, first loop over us. Tell us how you got on there. Uh, not so bad, we're just taking her easy, first first rally back of the year, um, it's very slippy and the guys in front are giving us a good run, so yeah. I will just play our own rally and see how things go, yeah. It is a, it's a hell of a battle out there, Class 16 this year is just epic. No, it's good to see, um, a lot of our 2 cars, which is good, um, you know, gives us a bit of a challenge, but sure, that's what we want. Exactly, yeah. there's no point out there racing on your own, it's good to have a good team around to hold and have a go at. Yeah, definitely, um, I say, you wouldn't want to be out rallying by yourself, but... No. You know, good competition's good. Competition's good. And a good bunch of boys with it. Good bunch of boys with it as well, that's it. Yeah. Well look and we'll chat to you next time I know that you'll have more stories from I probably thanks. Thank you. So Derek, first loop of stage is over. How did you get on out there? Uh, okay. With um a good enough run through them so I had so no real dramas and it just a stall, one stall and that's what it. That's good. How did you feel the times are? Have you got a chance to compare them with others? I don't want to compare them, I just want to keep going, so that's all I want to see. You need, yeah, you need a couple of good finishes and fairness in the car to get the confidence back in it. Yeah, just continue on the confidence from the uh, you know the Lakelands and the Bushwhacker and the new engine in too, which is taking a few teeth and things and hopefully now it'll be alright. Everything else car wise though seems to be alright for you. Yeah, it's not too bad, so it's not well, look at I will see you in the next loop, no doubt you'll have more to tell me. Hopefully. Thank you. Tommy, great to finally bring you to the woods here, because we've been plaguing you for a long time, so tell us. Finally we got you here, what was it like that first loop? Uh, the first loop was very sloppy in the first stage to get back into the swing of things and that, the second stage is brilliant now to be fair, it's really, it's good adrenaline rush now, it's fast but it's six years since I was the Irish Forestry so it's good to be back. So it's, great. it's been ages and we've finally chipped away at you and got you to come. <laughs> uh, that's it, uh, well hey, in the didn't make it, we only got a new engine there on Wednesday so we didn't, it was a big race to get it fitted but uh, we were always going to make it. Oh here, if it had to take every hour in the day it was going to happen. It was going to happen, <laughs> we'd be here. So. So tell us, any moments in there, or did you have a fairly smooth run through it? Oh, fairly smooth there this morning, just to get into the swing of things again, so 
we were at the tarmac there for a year or two, so yeah. ah, the forest good crack. Absolutely. So only place to be. Only place to be this year. <laughs> So tell us, um, obviously cars going great for you, you have nothing really to do apart from refuel yourself and refuel the car. That's it, uh, the both of us, yeah. That's well, look at feed the bananas in and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adrian, welcome back to Carrick Forest. Tell us, how did you get on out there? Aye, we got through them first two now. The first one was slippy and the second one was bumpy for this car, you know, but I think we're quickest from the two of them now in, the, in, the, in that section, you know. What about the competition out there now? There's a lot of competition in Furness. There is, aye. Uh, Mickey has went 2.5 there now, and all the two litre men. David, something happened to David there, so that's a pity. But well, it's a shame. No. Well, it's a shame that all these boys have to put up in the big engines to try to keep up with David, isn't that right? Aye, uh, that's true, except myself. Well, sure, you don't need it, you have talent. Mine's only a small engine. I don't know, but <laughs> it might be his bravery. <laughs> or foolishness. So, <laughs> so, what about there? That loop? Any problems, any issues, or any wee moments? No, no, but a few a few small moments. So, the slippy, on the first stage where it's slippy, you know, but nothing, nothing major. Nothing major. All clear. Well, look at, you've brought her back in, there's not a mark, and it's a great sign. Yeah, that's a good good start. May it last for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. We'll chat to you next time. All Thank right. you. See you there. So, Mickey. We put the 2.5 in. How's it working out for you? Yeah, uh, grand now. It's kind of a bit of, bit of getting used to, you know. First stage is a bit of a learning curve, but a good run on the second stage there. We were only a second off Adrian, so it's a good old battle there, you know. It, it must be a totally different animal for you. Lots more power in different places. Yeah, different places, sort of in second gear where I should be in third, and, you know, I'm in the wrong gear kind of all the time, but, you know, it is nice, drivable power, you know. But I uh, have yet to look at me two back tyres. It could be hardened tyres. <laughs> Minor difficulty, minor difficulty. So the fact is, obviously, yes, you're probably in wrong gear, so you're losing seconds then throughout the day, and as you learn more, you're going to get that back. Well, you'd be hoping that, you'd be hoping that, and certainly you know, some of the fast stages as well, you'd imagine, with that extra bit of grunt. Yeah. Uh, even that last yeah, stage, so those are a bit of uphill stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and I found a big difference in that in my old engine. Yes. You know, you could actually go up it in the third gear, whereas the other car wouldn't even attempt to go up it, you know, gotcha. you know, so. Uh, no, I'm very happy so far, so far so really good. Excellent. It's great to have such a battle in the two-wheel drive this year, isn't it? It is, it is indeed. It's very unfortunate. I hear David is engine trouble now, whether or not... Whether or not. I'm excited I didn't hear that. I know, I don't know if he's going to get back out again, but it's an early exit for him, unfortunately. It is a shame, but it does give you all a wee bit of a chance. It does, but at the same time, he's there as the benchmark, and we need somebody there to aim for, you know? Absolutely. You know, uh, like that old Heddington boy, I don't know about him. <laughs> for an old boy, he can peddler. He can indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. We'll talk to you next time. Good luck, good luck. Oh, Welcome back to the woods. You had a wee break last year, but we've got you back, Shane. How was that for you? I enjoyed it, yeah. Car were all over the shop. The back suspension's a bit of hay wire or whatever's happened. Um, we're going to go into service here. We struggled tar on that last stage all over the shop, bouncing all over the place. It was a very bumpy stage, though. A lot of ones were saying there was a lot of bumps and jumps and all, so you were definitely going to find it if there's an issue. Aye, aye, there seems to be an issue in the back suspension. I need to try and soften it. Even at the start line, we're spinning 100 yards up off the start line and getting no traction. Right. So that's not right. Something wrong. <laughs> Something wrong there for sure. I was just saying to Mickey, it's great to have a battle. It's a shame, obviously, to have David out, but it's oh, great to have such a battle out right there today. It is, I. I think the odd now the boys could be seven or eight up on us at this stage, you know, but we need to try and claw some time back if we can get this, get a bit of confidence back in the yoke. Yeah, it's the not back. a big pile of confidence at the minute, and, but I know, hopefully we'll get that back. Absolutely. Look, you have it on land to them. That's, um, well, we'll see. <laughs> it's a long day. <laughs> Best luck. We'll talk to you later on. Thank, Thank you. you. So, John, welcome back to the woods. Good to be back in the seat again? Yeah, great to be back again, but not a great start because we got a flat wheel just into the first stage there. So, last four minutes, had to pull in and change it. So, that's uh, just have to drive it on and nice, keep a nice steady speed and try and get up a few pints today. It's all really we can do. It's such a shame, but thankfully it was a short enough, shorter stage of the two. Yeah. So at least then it wasn't. It could have been a bigger loss on it. Yeah, yeah, we drove on uh, a bit until the rim disintegrated and we couldn't go any further, so we had to pull in. Little choice in the matter. How was your navigator in helping you in that? Because from history, he's not really a terror when it comes to changing wheels. Yeah, no, uh, he stabbed. He must have done a bit of homework over the over the Christmas period. Now he was very, very good this time. Now, so he was. Well, he, I think I think he grew the beard for that educated look. Yeah, it must have been. He actually had his own wheel brace. I don't know where it came from, but he came out with his own wheel brace this time. Navigator, navigator always carries stuff with him. Yeah, you, well, how long have you been navigating when I mean, you never pulled it out before? The wheel brace, that is. <laughs> never needed to hit him that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, look, you need to get round today, get the points, and enjoy it. That's the main thing. That's it. All right, thanks. <laughs> Barry, great to have you over here at the forest in Carrick. How'd you settle into that first loop? Uh, it, it, uh, first stage was uh, slow. Second stage, we started a bit in a bit more, so just a bit more seat time, and yeah. hopefully we can get through today anyway. Yeah. Bit of a learning curve for you, like you haven't had a lot of time even to get tested in this car, really. 
No, we got a couple hours yesterday and that was it. A couple hours after a long flight, so yeah. we were a bit deprived of sleep when we were doing it. So you were yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you're settling in, you're looking forward to the long day ahead of you. Is the night stay just something you're looking forward to later? Ah, yeah, I like night stages, yeah, they're, they're interesting. Yeah, they're good. Definitely. Something different. Something different, yeah. Excellent. Well, look at The best luck, and I'll get chatting you the next time. Okay, thanks very much. Jared, great to have you back in the woods here in Carrick. Tell us about that first loop. How do you get on? Yeah, we got on very good there in the first loop there. The first stage there, we took it a bit cautious in the second one, we went for a bit of a cut there now, so we had a good clean run, so we're very happy with things. Brilliant. Yeah. No mishaps or no moments in there? No moments, no nothing, no, no. We <laughs> kept it safe inside that. Yeah. Well, look, there's a great entry out there. Like, there's lots and lots of people to, to go for a battle with. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Fierce entry and fairness. It's lovely to see it at the start of the year. Yeah, yeah. You can't have it all your own way all the time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Keeps it interesting. Absolutely. Yeah, makes us push harder. Yeah. Exactly. A lot harder. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you back. I'm looking. We'll chat to you next time, Ryan. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. So Niall, first loop of stages over this morning in the Carrick here. Tell me how you got on. Hi, uh, the good one. Good. The first one was a bit slippy, so it is. Um, second one was good, fast at the end. Enjoyed it. Good. Back into the. In the groove. In the groove. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, lots of competition, obviously, this year out here. Yeah, lots of people, and it'll be tough enough. So it'll be good. It's good. nice to have somebody to battle against. There's no point being out there in your own running. That's part of the fun to have. Uh, makes makes exciting, so it does so. So the first stage, obviously, a bit loose. Any moments on it then when you're a wee bit sort of cautious getting into it? No, a wee bit cautious getting into it. And then in the second one, we started to get a bit faster then. But no, no moments yet. <laughs> well, look at long made last, and I'll see you next time. Right, thank you, Ian. John, first loop of stage is over us. How did you get on out there? Uh, well, you no problem. They were just taking it easy. You don't want to uh, make any mistakes you know, at this stage. And I uh, hope just go and keep it clean and tidy for the day and yeah. see what happens, you know. Don't do anything too mad. Just sort of be slightly sensible. Yeah, <laughs> probably over sensible, but sure, you know. Well, look, it's a long, long day out there. Like, this is very early on, so there's plenty of time, you know, to go a wee bit madder. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Well, look, and I look forward to hearing all the stories on the second loop. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys. Thank you. So, Niall, tell us that first loop of stages. How'd you get on out there? Yeah, very good. Um, happy to get back in the swing of things in the gravel. Uh, oh, good, very good. The stages are great condition. Probably they'll be slippy a bit, but no, we're happy. Good. So we are. Well, in fairness, you had a bit of a hiatus now, and you're back now in this car to get the feel of it and actually now put it up against people, I take it? Yeah, again, over the last year, we've done a lot of work with this car, and it's now we're starting to really enjoy it, and touch wood, it just keeps going. Exactly. But well, well, positive. We have positive mental attitude. Positive. You are going to get a finish. We'll, we'll be there. <laughs> what about any moments in there, anything? Tell me about. No, again, very, very, again, the odd wee... No, nothing dramatic. No, we're happy. We're happy, we're happy at our work. Good. Well, look, that's the main thing. It's a long time since I've seen you happy coming into the service. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Long made last. See you next time. See you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Liam, welcome to the Carrick Forest. Tell us, how'd you get on out there? We, we spun on the first one. It was really stupid. Downhill left-hander. But I just made sure that everyone's seen us because there was cameras and there was a thing hovering over us. So I just made sure everyone caught my spin. And then the second one, we had a... I thought we had a puncture and I slowed down just to check it, but with no puncture. <laughs> so it's been eventful enough, like... So you're going to get the, are you aiming for the entertainer of the event award? Well, I wasn't at the start, but I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you might as well go totally mad and get it for sure. Ah, you know, well, we'll try not to do the same thing again. We need to, need to keep it in the straight and narrow. Oh, no, it was good now. The car feels good, but, you know, it was the bushwhacker since I was last in the car. So, no, I'm, I'm, apart from those two things, I'm happy enough. Well, look, in fairness, Bushwhacker was nearly pretty much your first outing in this car, really. It was one or two outings in at that stage. Aye, we've only done, well, this is the third rally in the car, so we still learned it, but it's it's no excuse. Like, we want to get on with it and have a good go here. Well, look, and I'm sure you have a long day ahead of you. You'll have a great crack by the end of it. I hope so. Cheers. See you next time. All right, thank you. So, Stevie, normally tarmac is your favourite, but are we are we persuading you into the forest for good, maybe? Ah, yeah, I think so. We've got enough run through the first two, anyway. We the overshoot in the first and... Uh, we were tired, I think, on the second one, so, um, yeah, if we're luck, we'd see what the end of the day brings, and, yeah. yeah. You sound like you're finding your feet very quickly, which is brilliant, it builds your confidence. Yeah, yeah, well, we've done one event in the UK just before Christmas, but no testing really around before that, so, yeah, we were happy enough to be mixing near enough with them, yeah. yeah. It's quite impressive now to be there and thereabouts with the big boys that are out there because the competition is furious. Yeah, yeah, we'd have literally no experience really on gravel, so yeah, we're delighted now. It'll be a long day and a long championship, so yeah. we'll um, we'll be here hopefully anyway. But well, you're looking forward to it all. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and have we have we converted you maybe to becoming a forestry person now? Yeah, I think we're gonna stick to the forest for the year, I think. That's what I wanna hear. We'll look forward to chatting to you next time, right? Dead on yeah. Cheers. <laughs> 
Mickey, it's great to have you back in the forest after your little year hiatus. Uh, how are you fighting it today? Ah, it's good crack, all right. We're a good enough run on the first stage, but I don't know, my time just wasn't there on the second stage. Yeah. Um, have a wee problem here with this exhaust. The car felt the smoke on the second stage. Mm. I'm not saying it slowed me down anything, but uh, I need to go and get it sorted here to see. Well, look, it's kind of obviously puts a doubt in your mind because you're like, what the hell is that? You know, and you do sort of go off the you boil a little bit. Well, you kind of do, and I was watching the gauges and stuff because I was afraid that it was maybe something to do with the engine and I didn't want to do harm. Uh, but look, it, I was probably about five or six seconds too slow on the stage. We'll have to find them five or six seconds somewhere. Not a bother. Get the exhaust sorted. I have all the confidence you'll get it next time. Hopefully. <laughs> Wise, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, great to have you back here in Carrick. Tell us, how did that loop go for you? I did on. I was happy to get through it. So, yeah. the car's a wee bit hard. It must soften a wee bit now. Uh, try that. Hopefully, it helps. But Was the bushwhacker the last time you were out, or did you go out on anything over Christmas? No, uh, well, I've done uh, Shackleton yeah. and Tarmac just, but uh, no, bushwhacker's the last run out to high. So. so, in fairness, there's a right bit of a break to sort of get woke up again? Take a stage or two to get into the swing hang, so Absolutely. hopefully, after us here, we'll be dead on. Well, it's early yet. There's loads of time. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Any moments out there, any big, anything to tell me about? No, it's just wild slidey because she's a wee bit hard, but if it's softener, hopefully it'll help her. But well, look, and I look forward to hearing all the stories about how good a time she put up Aye. next time. That's it, that's, that's it. Best luck, boy. Thank no you. bar, thanks. Ashley, new vehicle I see. Congratulations on it. Tell me, how did you get on it? Thank you, Ida. Uh, lovely car. Um, we had rated it with no testing done before, just a, a run up the tarmac road. Uh, so it was all uh, a new game going into the first stage. Uh, first stage we were very cautious, enjoyed the second stage a bit more. Uh, I have no idea what the times are like, probably not good, but uh, look, we're, we're, we're here, we're a few miles under our belt in the forest now. So excellent, good good, excellent. good fun. In fair, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Do you find it different from the other car by much? Oh, definitely. It's a lot lighter, uh, the sequential box uh, brakes much better, um, it's a lot quicker. So, Looks yeah. More responsive. More, more responsive, that's exactly right. So, uh, steep learning curve, but sure, anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go. Well, you've got great experience with the IC. I think this is going to be an amazing partnership. Well, as you said, Follicle Challenge Racing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the new name for the team. I'll get it made in a sticker. <laughs> great, Dino. Thank you very much. I'll chat to you next time. Thanks, okay, guys. thanks. Cheers, uh, <laughs> So, we're in Carrick in a new car. How did you get on out there, Tammy? Uh, we're just taking a cautious to try and try and learn the car and get a result and get it finished just to get miles um, but it's, it's a totally different experience and we're really in, we're here and we're enjoying it so yeah. just try and get to the finish. How are you fighting that little bit of distance and width going through the chicanes compared to the your smaller vehicle? Uh, not too bad they're well enough opened up by the time we got to them <laughs> um, but it's, it's just trying to get the car stopped and yeah. but it definitely can get up and go and stop and it's just finding confidence. It's just you have to adopt a new driving style, I suppose, and you're trying to get your head around learning that at the moment. Pretty much, yeah, and it's... I definitely will try and just keep pushing on and see how we get on the rest of the day. Good stuff. Well, you're happy on it so far. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Well, look, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Cheers, Ida. Bye. So, PJ, tell us about that loop. How did you get on in there? Ah, uh, good, yeah. Find it slippy with a bit of a stall in the first stage, but, um, so yeah, settling in. Yeah, good. good. Did you lose much time in that stall, you think? A couple of seconds? I think four to five seconds, maybe, but... Happy enough, happy enough. That's good. What about second loop then? Fairly uh, good grip on it and so on, good speed through it? Uh, should be, yeah, should be, hopefully not. So, we're we'll waiting to see you. Excellent, yeah. look at it. Nothing to do with the car, I take it, nice simple run? It's fine, everything is grand. Yep. Yeah, Tea and buns? Hopefully. <laughs> see you next time. Okay, Thank you. thanks. Graham, great to have you back into the first service here today. Tell me how you got on. It is great to be back. We got on really well. No. No big ones, took a nice and smooth, and we're going well on the results as well. Dave just told us, so we're delighted. So everything seemed to work quite well unannounced to yourself? Yeah, everything was perfect. Yeah, if I can keep doing that now, I hope I don't overthink it. We just went to drive it through and get, get to the first service and it was perfect. It was great fun. Great fun. So nothing to do with the car, all simple quick check over and back out? I suppose you put a bit of petrol in it. Fuel yourself, fuel the car, ready to go? Exactly, sambos and tea. Sambos and tea. <laughs> Graham, thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. John, fabulous to have you here in the forest in Carrick. Tell me, how was that first loop for you? Uh, it's a baptism of fire really, this is my first year, I've, ever, I've rallied for over 30 years and this is my first year into the forest, yeah. so we're trying it in this Subaru N12, I wouldn't bring the Skoda Fabia, yeah. I'm too precious about it and <laughs> all those stones banging off the floor, I just, I, I, I couldn't do it, but uh, it, it's a skill, it's a totally different skill in, it, in itself and I'm amazed at the speed that the boys can uh, C can carry through those bends. I mean, I'm thinking of young Johnny. I'm in a four-wheel drive, but him in that two-wheel drive Fiesta, 
and the speed that they're carrying is fantastic, yeah, you know. It's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. It is a totally different animal to learn and a totally different driving style, but are you enjoying on the dark side? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> the dark side. Uh, both Aidan and uh, and myself been rallying for a long time and uh, yeah, yes, I mean the first one we're very rusty, you just don't know what to expect, but the second one there we're getting a bit quicker and yeah, if we can just keep it between the hedges today and the trees we'll be delighted, you know. Well it's a lot more relaxed than the tarmac, so it should be a lot more fun for you. Yeah, and I mean, I'm switching between left foot braking and right foot braking, and I'm trying to see what's the best way to get the best balance in the car. And so we're trying all that. And this is a dog box in this car, and it's, it wouldn't really suit my driving style because you need to be a bit pig ignorant to ram it into gear and out of gear. And I'm a wee bit more sympathetic than that. But I need to. Somebody needs to beat me up in here and then send me back out in this car again. Don't you worry, we'll get that organised for you. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a line of boys <laughs> ready to give me a slap. Well, look, best luck. I'm glad you're enjoying it and we'll see you next time, Ryan. Thanks very much. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thanks, Paul, fab to have you back in the woods. Lovely car to be out in the woods and how are you getting on? Yeah, fantastic car uh, to drive in that, but it's just taking a bit of getting used to it. It's naturally aspirated where the, the older Cosworth was turbocharged and, you know, the power was delivered easier and yeah. than this, it's more sharper. and So it's just to get used to it is the it's thing. It's a bit of a learning curve for you. Ah, it's a big learning curve for me. You know, I didn't think I'd have to do this at this time of life, but anyhow. <laughs> sure, look, what else would you be at on the Saturday? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> but you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. Yeah, absolutely loving it. Yeah, yeah. It's... How do you find the stages out there? A uh, bit slippy, but you know, no, nice. You know, once you got in and flowing on them, they were lovely, you know. So, yeah, hopefully it continues that way. Well, look forward to seeing you later on for a chat again. Yeah, well, indeed. So, Mark, tell us first loop of stages there. Totally different animal you're in today. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, just I suppose we made a decision last year we were going to take it out and see what it was like in the forest. Great crack in the forest last year, so we said we were hoping to enjoy the same. We had a bit of a misfire going out to the stage uh, one um, today, so we got a bit of a penalty. We were a bit late on that, but it's all sorted now, so oh, I'm looking forward to it. Great to be back. <laughs> How are you fighting this car in it? Ah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I mean, it's so nimble and the power and, and everything. It's just... I suppose we're just trying to get ourselves into it now at the minute, but yeah, I can't wait for the second loop, so oh, hopefully I'll be smiling when I come back in here for the second one, so... I'm see. sure you will. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, so yeah, looking forward to it. Well, look, at best luck, we'll see you next good time. Good stuff, Thank thanks, Ida. Sorry, Richie, tell us about that first loop of stages. How did you get on in there? Yeah, it was good now. We hadn't been out since Donegal, and yeah. it was very slippy, the first one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we bedded in nicely, and we had a good run on the second, which I felt more comfortable. Good. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it again. It's hard to get back in the groove, like you've had nearly half a year. Exactly, yeah, it was only time, it was six months nearly, yeah. But uh, I don't know, I'm happy enough with our pace and we're steady. And car feels fine, no problems? Car, car's good, yeah. yeah it's, well, probably cold where we shouldn't have, so we're going to check that now. So. Other than that, they're lovely stages. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And tell us, any other moments in there? Uh, not so much, we were just taking it handy. Get steady. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so a eh, couple, but sure. Still getting used to the handbrake again, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing donuts more so. <laughs> You're going for the entertainer's crown. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you need to please everybody. Surely do. Well, look, and I look forward to seeing you next time with more stories. Thank Thanks, you. lads. Cheers. See you later. So, Austin, welcome to Carrick. How did you get on in that first loop of stages? Very good, very good, very slippy. Yeah. But other than that, good run, good. safe. Well, tell me, have you been down to the Carrick Forest before? Is this your first time? This is the first time in the forest. Okay. First time full stop in the forest? In 10 years. You must have been only a slip of a cub when you were last on That's it. <laughs> You're playing it flatter every now. <laughs> so tell us, how did you find sort of it all came back to you? You felt comfortable in there? Yeah, the next few will be a bit better, you know. The first one's really learning again. Yeah. Should be okay later on. That's good, that's good. As long as we're there at the finish. Exactly. You came in with a smile on your face, it's always a good sign. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I look forward to talking to you the next time. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ida. Patricia, congratulations on the new wheels. I love it. Oh, sure, look at it. It's four doors. Great for going to the shops in. <laughs> <laughs> big old family yoke. Oh, big old family yoke. Okay. It's a two litre car. This is my first time to ever do any stages in a two litre car. So it's a big learning curve for me today. And obviously four wheel drive as well. Four wheel drive. Uh, a big step up from the little Peugeot, but we have to get around those two stages now. I'm still driving it like a two wheel drive car, but it will take me a while to get into it. But the plan is today is to get around. Uh, have a good crack. Sure, it's great fun, isn't it? Great to see uh, four girls out today. I think that must be a record for the forestry, is Definitely. it? Definitely. It's one of the strongest female entries we have for sure for the forest. Great. I love to see the girls doing well. I hope they're all going well. Um, they are. 
great. You're all enjoying it like yourself. Great, great. Thanks very much. It's all about. Yeah, see you later. Any moments or anything, by the way? No, nothing? Uh, we probably weren't going quick enough to have moments, to be honest. Uh-huh. To be honest, I probably was a bit too cautious in there. But um, I only got this car last week and um, it's a big step up for me. So the plan today is to kind of tip around, get around it, and maybe the next time be a little bit quicker. But there's no point in doing any heroics today. So I wasn't actually going quick enough to have any moments. <laughs> Look, it's one big learning curve. And as long as you're enjoying it, that's all about it. Thanks very much. Thanks. Up the girls. Bye-bye.